Hey everybody, today we're going to have a basic tutorial for Cerberus, which is a rat. This is a hacking tool. Um, it is a remote administration tool. Basically, you always want to run as administrator. Um, before we get started, if you haven't already, you're going to want to click the internet, whatever internet browser you use. Uh, if you don't know yours, um, control R, CMD, type in IP config you'll get your remote IP right here default gateway okay mine's 192.168.1.1 okay so then you'll have the login thing uh, if you're using a Linksys router it'll be admin admin go to application and gaming if you're using Linksys or just look around for port forwarding okay this is for the Cerberus program the external and internal port will be 5150 uh, the protocol, make sure it's both. Uh, for the two IP address, just look at mine, 192.168.1.100, and then make sure you enable, save your settings. Now, uh, to service, we've got all of our connections here already. If you are expecting a lot of connections, make sure you disable send plugin on connection. Also, options, make sure your password is similar to the one you used for creating the server, okay? So, let's save here. Now, new, okay? Basically, just put in your uh, DNS that you're using, that you're going to use to connect. Make sure on no IP, uh, you update your IP to the DNS. So, basically, I'll show you how to do that right now. No, uh, no IP.com. I don't want to show you guys my email too much, but let's do our best here. So basically, just log in to your no IP. Okay, manage hosts. Now you're gonna see your host. If you haven't made one, you basically just go to add host. Use any host name you want. Um, make sure it's a DNS host. Put your IP into the address box. That's very important. Okay. Then if you already have a host and you just want to edit it. You basically just go to manage host. There's your host IP. That's what you're going to put into the address. Okay, put it in here and then click plus or whatever. You can figure it out. So then if you already, if you want to change this IP, you just click modify. Okay, if you need to get your IP, just go to ipchicken.com. You'll get it and then put, paste it here. Then update the DNS. Okay, so on with it. Server installation. You're going to want to make a system and then application server boot methods check all both of this this and this okay do not click this add file you can bind a file if you want don't do it because it will make it unstable in most situations okay here's all the anti-virtual stuff this is for more advanced people that would be able to test the file all right they don't have to be advanced but then also enable all the keylogger uh you can change this hide files delete on execute what that's going to do is install it and then delete the file so they can't scan it or do anything further with the file. Hide files, uh, you really don't have to, but just do all that um, if you want it to be stealth. Back blacklist, I wouldn't know what that would be, uh, the overview, and then you can create server. Basically, save file as whatever you want. Um, Run server in invisible mode. Do not check that. That'll screw it up. For some reason, when they install it, it doesn't work. It, you, they won't show up on your list, and I don't know why. Okay, you want to include the plugin. Always, always, always include the plugin. Include the plugin, because if you don't, you're going to be screwed, because they're going to download it from your computer, and you're going to lag. Unless you're just going to, you know, affect a few people. So you can use an icon, whatever you want, click it and you know change it. This is my icon basically. Just you know. Then you'd create the server, uh crypt it, do whatever you want with it, send it to the person, they'll open it and then you'll see them show up. Now this is the part where you went into new and you made the password, right? Admin. I've done this before where I'd never went into options and set the connection password to admin. Okay? And then save then you'll start getting your connections you can do stuff from there right right click you know you got lots of options okay thanks for watching my videos please stay tuned